legislatures are responsible for deciding how presidential electors are picked in their respective states. Because Republicans control the House and Senate in Pennsylvania, Senator Mastriano believes it can be done through a joint resolution to suspend state law that would not need a governor's signature. If he is successful, Biden would lose 20 Pennsylvania electors and President Trump would be awarded them. So what are the chances of this? We now know breaking news that the House and Senate are going to take this up. Please welcome to the program the courageous retired Army colonel and now state senator from Pennsylvania, the man leading the charge on behalf of the president and the people of his state. Please welcome Doug Mastriano to the program. We know this court appeals judge threw out the stay in that. So technically, it's been certified. I guess the battle here will be taking back the certification, even though it's already been done. How do you square that here, Senator? So part of that is is the Senate resolution, because we're, we're saying, look, Governor Wolf didn't look into any allegations and blew them off. Secretary of State Bookfart blew off all the allegations of shenanigans. Our attorney general, you know, declared a winner before one vote was counted. And so the whole process has been corrupted. No, nobody cares to see if there was shenanigans, cheating, fraud, you know, disenfranchisement. And so we're going to rise up and say, look, constitutionally, we have the final say on who the electors are. You certified an election that can't be certified because you didn't look into the allegations of that cheating. That was a turning point in Gettysburg Wednesday when, of course, for the first time to the world, the case was made from eyewitnesses, and it's so compelling, and that anyone would stand aside, irregardless of party, and just just get on board with party politics because they think their guy won is unacceptable. So we're going to reassert our authority here and uh, try to do the right thing here and correct that this entire disaster that's happened. Over. The state of Pennsylvania mails out 1.8 million ballots, mail-in votes. They count 2.5 million received. By my count, you've got over 700,000 ballots that the state said they did not mail out that was returned with a vote. 700,000. We cannot brush all alone. How is the entire election not thrown out with just that number alone in if Pennsylvania? the Trump administration can make the case that it's that bad, if not worse, in areas of the state, you're going to see things flip. We have put together, I think, the most extensive and inclusive voter fraud organization in the history of American politics.